Maginta Umaga. Good morning. Tuesday morning from the build. Yeah, I didn't take a, haven't taken a video for a while. Let's see, uh, Thursday. Thursday we had partial crew. I don't know. I think that's the last time I took a video. It's Thursday. But uh, not many people showed up. Friday, Saturday, nobody worked. And Sunday, Bachai and Ramel cleared some land here. They worked Sunday. Monday, Sunday and Monday, I was sick. Some kind of gastrointestinal virus. So I wasn't feeling good. I had a fever. I was on the toilet for two days. So let's see what we've gotten done since the last video I've taken. <clears throat> My second set of teepees didn't work out. Uh, I think they poured the cement too wet. I'm dried out of cracks. So. They're all junk. So we redo those. Really got just a partial crew here today. Trying to focus on the downstairs so we can move in. Kitchen cabinets are done. So I got Rod and Brian painting the cabinets up, putting the primer on, paint all these up, get all the cement skim coated, painted. <clears throat> Went into town on Friday. I got the water pump with the pressure tank. So we're getting one step closer. It's a pretty good one. Made in Italy. Tank pump. Just got the pressure switch on it and all that good stuff. So, so let's see. Bathroom's almost complete. We got the Vanity put in the sink and the faucet. Showers installed. Turned out all right, guys. I mean, looks better than it did, but this is what you get here. Still gotta install the water heater. Gotta get the lights put in here and the ceiling painted. And we got another estimate on the, the glass enclosure. Still like 1300 bucks, 1200 bucks. So the shower basin is big enough we can take a shower without the glass. And it's just hard to do things here. I mean, we got to go into town and check some prices and see if they could pack the glass so we can travel with it here. <clears throat> they did end up fixing the lock on this doorknob, so both locks work now. Garage is coming along. We got the roof, picked up the roof. It was here Friday. Kind of got, things got kind of got lost in translation here with the roof and the clear pieces we got. We came over yesterday. They didn't cut the piece in half. They just cut a piece out and then they had it at the top. So I made them take it, take it out. And got, them, got them both in the same spot. <clears throat> we got a couple holes, a couple nail holes up there. Got the silicone nose up. Other than that, it's looking good. I can put the top on. Inside the garage is rendered. Well is rendered. Just gotta, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put my water pump right here on the well. Then I'll run my lines out this way and they'll go back down in the ground. I did get the, Filters. <clears throat> Still looking at a UV filter. Uh, order it online. That'll kill 99% of the viruses, bacteria, and germs. 
but we haven't ordered it yet. Up there. Some guys digging out the ditch a little wider here. fires going yeah there's no use in cleaning up the reason we're starting to clean up now is because things are about ready to slow down once we move in the uh downstairs it's gonna kind of slow down and the biggest regret i have is not having all the supplies that we need for each project because every time you leave to go to town you know these guys are trying to work and they do something that you don't like, but I'm gonna show you the fillers I got. <clears throat> yeah, I got three of these, 10 by half inch. So one will be a five micron, and then it'll go into a, what do I get? One, one micron fill, two different one micron filters. And then if I get that UV, that UV filter should be good to go. Storage room's all cleaned up. As you can see the kitchen, we clean everything up in here. Tile's fine, just needs good scrubbing with some lacquer thinner. Might as well wait till everything's done. Had a comment, uh, why don't I cover the whole floor with a sunshade thing? Uh, why? It's fine. Alright, so this is all cleaned up. Show you the upstairs. <clears throat> you had a lot of comments on the window guy and people saying, oh, you know, I made the comment, can't disrespect people around here. Someone made a comment, oh, well, they're disrespecting you. Well, I mean, the only person's fault it is is mine for not not being here while he's doing it and not checking out the jobs that he did before to see what kind of quality work he did. But I mean, you got to think before you say something around here. You know, he's in his sixties. He's, I guarantee, he's got ten kids that are my age. That probably have ten kids that are in their twenties. You know, if I was disrespectful to him and fired him you know he's gonna go home and tell everybody and I know he's got 10 siblings and, you know before you know he lives 20 minutes away before you know it, you got 200 people that uh, are upset with you because you yelled at their grandpa or fired their grandpa so you just gotta just gotta be nice to people here it's just a screen, it's just a screen window. It's just a sliding window. I'm not gonna let it get out of hand. I mean, everything else is looking all right. So they skim coated out here. I kind of just sent these guys home yesterday. Every time I came up here, three guys sitting while one guy's mixing up skim coat, just this much that they use in five minutes and they all sit down and do it again. So I was like, well, until they can figure out how to work, have three guys working and one mixing skim coat without everybody sitting down, they can dig ditch and then they're out there digging the ditch. <clears throat> so the wife made the decision to put extra skim coat here in the bedroom. I don't really care. I didn't care if it's a rough finish, but I guess she wants it smooth, so. So, the upstairs is on hold. Just trying to get, get moved in. 
<clears throat> yeah, I'm getting comments of guys saying, oh, I'd fire everybody and I wouldn't let that happen. I mean, <laughs> there's a guy uh, right down the road that treated this crew bad. He's building like a three car garage with uh, apartments on top. So the crew left. He's like, I'll get another crew to come in here. Well, that was a year and a half ago and he still hasn't found anybody to finish the work, so. Yep, not many construction companies up here, guys. Nice view of the mountains this morning. So yeah, you can't, you know, you just can't disrespect people up here. He's, you know, you gotta understand these guys are working for slave wages. So don't treat them like slaves. Don't come over here with your American ideology of thinking, you know, that you're gonna change the way they work. I mean, that's what kind of makes this place great as it's so laid back. You know, you come over here trying to change the way people do things they're not gonna they're not gonna put up with it so don't come over here with your western style of thinking man you ain't gonna get very far i promise you i promise you that can't have an attitude can't be disrespectful yeah i got a comment no, this, it's my house it's my way or the highway well every build's different i mean you might be able to get away with that near the city or somewhere else but where i'm at you know, it's not gonna happen. These guys bust their ass, man. And eight, uh, hard labor. You're talking carrying around 80, 80 pound bags of cement all day, shoveling cement, gravel, carrying gravel, digging ditches. They're making $8.90 a day, guys. $8.90 a day. I mean, people say that I'm being taken advantage of. I feel like I'm taking advantage of them. You know, paying them that. And we talked about paying them more, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna upset the economy up here. I mean, because if we paid them more and then the next house they go to, they say, well, the American paid us this. And you don't wanna just, you don't wanna mess around with the way things are up here. Yeah, you gotta think before you say things up here. It's like I said, <laughs> you know, this. There's no police up here. It's all family. And I, very, it's a very nonviolent people up here, but you just don't want to go disrespecting people up here. I mean, I went to Dante's party with Thursday night and uh, like 20 guys there shooting guns, shooting their pistols. They want me to shoot it. And I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, you just don't want to. Make enemies up here, that's for sure. You wanna be nice to everybody. So, yeah, sorry we haven't made a video in a while. Like I said, I was sick for a couple days and wasn't much else going on, so. Let's see what we've got completed so far. So, I think I only got like 280 thumbs up on the last video. Shooting for 500. So guys, if you liked the video, just hit the thumbs up, it doesn't cost nothing. It only takes about a 10th of a second to do. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, make a video for you tomorrow. All right guys, thanks for listening and watching. Talk to you later.